Hi, can you guys see me or hear me? I'm sorry, I'm having problems with my laptop. So I had to resort to a smaller source, uh, which is my my iPod. Okay, you guys can hear me and see me? Yes? Okay, only downfall from here is I won't be able to see the chat because um, of the position of the, the camera. But we could get, get started. Okay, let me just... Hold on one second, guys. Okay, I think this angle is a little bit better, right? Okay, the image is not going to be perfect, but we can all get started and go about to starting the class. It's already pretty late, and I'm sorry for keeping you all waiting. But I will start. Um, my name is Itza, and... I'm here to share with you guys this mixed media canvas on um, how I went to creating this beautiful canvas and I achieved this by using this wonderful stamp which we have here and it's um it comes with a face stamp a flower stamp and it also gives you a free template Uh, which gives you the positive and the negative of the template so you guys can use this with um, modeling paste you can um, use it with color sprays get really cool um, looks without necessarily using the the stamp so if you guys purchase the stamp you guys get this awesome template and you can use the template of the face and you know switch out the lips create your own lips create your own eyes so it's really fun um gives you an option if you want to explore drawing your own faces okay so here i started by stamping my paper and it, this is just basic good cardstock and i stamped it with my face um, the only thing that I did was I removed um, this nose line here. I removed part of the bottom of the lip and this part here. And all you do is, you know, you ink it up and with a cloth or something, you wipe off the areas that you don't want to be shown. Okay, so it's very simple. And I stamped my image here once and I also went ahead and finished uh, rounding off her head with a pencil and kind of gave her some shoulders just so that I know um, how and where I need to cut so this always um, is very helpful to do that 
and the way that I color my um, images is with uh, water soluble mediums. Now we can discuss mediums for a few minutes. Um, at least the kind of mediums that I'm going to be using. And mixed media is basically, um, for those who don't know, um, you guys have probably been doing mixed media and you just didn't know that that's what you were doing. Uh, mixed media is a mixture of different mediums to create a piece of art. You know, um, whether it's a journal or a book cover or a canvas or whatnot, it's just um, a mixture of different mediums that you use to create a certain look. Um, you can be altering a box and using, you know, modeling paste and using uh, color sprays and using medium gel. That is mixed media right there. It's just a mixed media altered box you know so it's all just knowing the lingo uh, but it's very basic very simple it can be as complex as you want as simple as you want so it's just basically what your needs are and what your project is going to look like um, so if you guys have any questions we can address those questions um, now so this is modeling paste. My favorite um, brand to use is Liquitex Basics. This is modeling paste and it comes in this tube. Modeling paste is used to give you a rise or a three-dimensional, um, I guess, look. Whether it's using stencils or using it by itself, it gives you great texture and dimension. So modeling paste is good for that. Um, a lot of these mediums can be uh, given color uh, just by adding acrylic paint to it. You can change the color of your modeling uh, paste. So just keep in mind that the modeling paste is white. So whenever you add color to white, um, it tends to turn into a pastel more or less. So keep that in mind, but you can easily mix in some color to your modeling paste. Um, next is gesso. Now a lot of people have asked me what is gesso. Gesso is basically a primer. Um, if you're going to be working on a surface that is not too thick and it's going to rip if you put in a lot of paints and a lot of color sprays then I would recommend you use gesso underneath your project. This would be your first layer gesso. Gesso is going to give it um, a little strength. Uh, it, it's also used to white stuff out um, and things like that. And it's kind of like white acrylic paint, only that it has like um, a grainy texture to it. Uh, it's really hard to describe it but if you have white acrylic paint you can probably use it instead of gesso um, but like I said gesso is more of a primer when you go and you paint your walls you always want to use a primer um, first before you add your your paint that way you don't use up as much paint as you would if you didn't use um, your primer. So gesso is more or less of a primer. Um, and again this is my all-time favorite. This is like my liquid gold. Um, I love love this uh, gloss gel medium because it you can also change the color of it and give um, your surface like a glass finish. Um, it's dimensional and it's it's a glue, it, it, you can do all kinds of stuff. But this is my sealer. I like using this on my projects to seal in my finished um, project. And that is, you know, um, fantastic. That's the one fantastic thing about um, gloss gel media. So these are three very basic yet very useful 
uh, mediums if you're gonna get into like really get into doing journal pages and canvases and stuff like that I would highly recommend out of that out of all the mediums out there that you first start out by using these three mediums whether it's from basics or from you know whatever other brand you find out there and is available to you um, if you are a beginner I would always go with the cheaper stuff basically because this is going to be your first time playing with this stuff and you don't know yet you know um, techniques and stuff like that so I would always start with the cheapest brand that you find and then you know try that out and if that doesn't work for you and you feel you're more uh, ready to try on more expensive brands then you would proceed to that but it's always best to start with the the cheapest because you know you don't doesn't hurt you as much when your project doesn't come out exactly the way you wanted it and you have to do it over or whatnot so um, at the end of my projects I always put one layer